Do you struggle with saving money from your paycheck? Let's face it, we've all been there. The payday arrives, your bank account gleams with promise, and you swear to yourself that this time, you'll save. But then, life happens. The car breaks down, the roof leaks, or perhaps that pair of shoes you've been eyeing finally goes on sale. And just like that, your resolve to save dwindles, lost in the whirlwind of unexpected expenses and lifestyle inflation. Maybe it's the dazzling allure of the latest gadgets or the simple pleasure of dining out that derails your savings plan. Or, it could be the sudden emergencies that spring up when you least expect them. It's a universal struggle, and you're not alone in it. Yet saving money from your paycheck is not an insurmountable challenge. It's about building a habit, about understanding and controlling your finances. So buckle up for the journey ahead. But worry not. Dividing your paycheck and saving effectively isn't rocket science. Ever heard of the 50-30-20 rule? This golden rule of personal finance is a simple yet effective method for managing your money. Let's dive in and break down what this rule is all about. Imagine you've just received your paycheck. Now, picture dividing that paycheck into three distinct categories. Needs, wants, and savings or debt. That's precisely what the 50-30-20 rule is all about. It's a straightforward way to visualize and control where your money goes each month. So, let's break down these percentages. 50% of your income should be allocated to needs. These are your essentials, your non-negotiables. We're talking about things like rent or mortgage payments, groceries, utilities, health insurance, car payments, and so forth. It's the stuff you can't live without. Next up, we have 30%. This chunk of your income is dedicated to wants. This is your fun money, the cash you can spend on things that bring you joy but aren't necessarily essential. Maybe it's that fancy latte from your favorite coffee shop, a night out at the movies, a new outfit, or a weekend getaway. Remember, life isn't just about surviving, it's about thriving and enjoying the journey. Finally, we have the last 20%. This portion of your income should be squirreled away into savings or used to pay off debt. This is your future fund, the money that you're investing in your tomorrow. Whether it's building an emergency fund, saving for a down payment on a house, investing in your retirement, or paying down debt, this is the money that secures your financial future. The 50-30-20 rule provides a simple framework for managing your money. It's a guideline, not a hard and fast law, but it offers a starting point for those looking to gain control of their finances. It's about balance, prioritizing, and making conscious decisions about where your money is going. Sounds simple, right? But the devil is in the details. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the intricacies of this rule in the next scene. So, how do we actually break down our paycheck? That's a great question and the answer lies in the golden rule of 50-30-20. Let's start with the first number, 50. This represents the percentage of your income that should go towards needs. These are the essentials, the must-haves, the things you can't live without. We're talking about rent or mortgage, groceries, utilities, transportation, and healthcare. Now, it's important to distinguish between needs and wants. A need is something you must have to survive or to maintain your current standard of living. A want, on the other hand, is something that you'd like to have, but could live without. A brand new, top-of-the-line smartphone? That's a want. Your current phone that still works perfectly fine? That's a need. Next up is the 30. This is the fun part. 30% of your income should go towards wants. This includes dining out, vacations, shopping sprees, and your Netflix subscription. This is your chance to enjoy the fruits of your labor. But remember, moderation is key. It's easy to blur the lines between needs and wants, so always be mindful of your spending. Finally, we have the 20. This is possibly the most important part of the equation. 20% of your income should go towards savings or paying off debt. This could be anything from building an emergency fund, contributing to your retirement account, or paying off credit card debt. It might seem difficult to put aside this much, but remember, every little bit counts. Even if you start with just 1% and gradually increase it, you're still making progress. In summary, the 50-30-20 rule is a simple and effective way to manage your income. It ensures that you're covering your needs, enjoying your wants, and building your wealth. It's about balance and making your money work for you. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, it's about how much you keep. Ready to level up your savings game? Let's dive into some savvy strategies to help you maximize your savings. First up, automatic savings transfers. Set it and forget it, right? By arranging for a portion of your paycheck to be automatically transferred to your savings account, you're taking the guesswork out of saving. It's an effortless way to ensure you're consistently stashing away cash each month. 
Next, consider employing budgeting apps. In this digital age, there's a wealth of tools at your fingertips. Budgeting apps can track your income and expenses, and even categorize your spending. You'll have a clear picture of where your money's going, and where you might need to tighten the belt. And don't forget the tried and true envelope system. It's old school, but it works. Divide your expenses into categories, like groceries, rent, and entertainment. Allocate a portion of your paycheck to each envelope. Once the cash in an envelope runs out, that's it for the month. It's a tangible way to keep your spending in check. Remember, the key to success is consistency. It may take a bit of trial and error to find what works best for you. But once you find your rhythm, stick with it. And don't be too hard on yourself. Even the smallest savings can add up over time. With these tips and tricks, you're well on your way to becoming a savings champ. So, are you ready to take control of your paycheck? We've covered the real struggle of saving, the golden rule of 50-30-20, and even broke it down for you. We've shared some nifty tips and tricks to help you on your journey. It's clear that saving is crucial, and the 50-30-20 rule is a fantastic tool to manage your income effectively. Congratulations, you are now equipped with the knowledge to divide your paycheck and save more effectively. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It helps us reach more people like you who are looking for financial tips. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to join the Money Masters community. We regularly share tips and tricks to help you master your finances. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell for notifications so you never miss an update. We're constantly rolling out new content and we wouldn't want you to miss out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep mastering your money.